now I'm um, revamping my website. I've just put that I've, I've, I've up, I'm updating the media kit as we speak to be more about uh, just to include more stuff about me speaking and, and stuff like that. And then I'm going to, there's a uh, speaker bureaus, bureau agencies that I'm going to hit up. I know people that are represented by, um, and just kind of like bash that out. So To me, that's kind of like the, the, the book and the speaking. And then I know that there's like online courses and programs and stuff. I've just got this very weird resistance to like, to, to doing the whole getting people in a funnel and selling programs and stuff like that. I don't know why, I just have it. And it, that, I think that's why I've been, one, it's like a whole challenge and a task to do all this stuff. And then two, I've just got a weird reluctance to it. So what do you think that, what, why do you think that reluctance is? Is it, is it like, the get rich quick scheme is it is it where's where's why are you reluctant is it just too much of an overload or is it too much work um it's just that i think it's like <laughs> i think it's just like i don't like i don't like charging the idea of you know wanting to help people for free like i don't mind taking money from a corporation to make okay. a video or to do stuff and like i don't mind i'm okay with selling a book um, but I'm not okay with selling a program. Maybe that's because uh, I think maybe I don't think that what I've got it bringing is enough value. Maybe that's what it is. Ah. I think it's partly to do with that. And I think it's partly to do with, it seems like an ep epic task that I just <laughs> don't want to have to deal with on my own. I think maybe right. that's what it is. Okay. No, yeah. fair enough. Uh, sometimes things are look like mountains, but they're really molehills. Right. If, if you get the right people on board to, to help you execute. Yeah, um, yeah. I think that you have a tremendous amount of value. Forgive me, because the little guy over there is is doing his thing in the other room. That's I don't okay. know if you can. I don't know if you can hear him. I uh, can't. What's he doing? <laughs> yes. He's just going. Ah! He sounds like a pterodactyl right now. Always having fun. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so, so one of the things that that I want to help you with is like I checked you out and I, I went into deep detail and you know you have a tremendous amount of value. You know that. And, and here's something that I want to just, I want to plant the seed in your head and you'll either reject it or maybe, maybe sort of play with it a little bit. But people that get information thrown at them for free, right? Mm -hmm. I'm a huge, I'm a huge believer in this. Won't value it as deeply as, as, a piece of information that they actually spent money on. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm a, I'm a believer of it because I, I see it when people come to me and, and give me free advice. I'm, I'm very, I'm unmotivated to, to move on that advice. But if I spent $5,000 on somebody's <laughs> consulting, it's like the next day it's done. Yeah. So yeah. there's this piece of investment there. Like people will, and, and I always, I always joke because I like shoes. I'm a big shoe guy. And like, if I lost a pair of Nikes, I probably wouldn't give a shit. But if I lost my, my Gucci's, I'd be pissed. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and I'd get over it. But like, there's a, there's a, there's a level of burn and sting mm -hmm. that is associated with something that we actually spent money on. Yeah. So it's been, it's been eating me up since the last time we spoke, but you, one of the things that I see that you have right now that is really in your favor is your audience. I know, and I just haven't capitalized on it at all. So like, I'm like, so here's me. I have all the, all the things to sell and everything to offer people that are looking to build and, and grow their business, but I'm struggling with obscurity and I'm struggling with building a big following, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm backwards. Right, mm -hmm. or maybe you're backwards. I'm backwards. Yeah. So, so, <laughs> so what I'm thinking is, here's a model that I've suggested to one of my clients, and now they're making twelve thousand dollars a month in recurring revenue. Mm -hmm. Right. So they get the person in, right, and they that person commits to a monthly payment mm -hmm. of. And it could be minimal, minimal, yeah. right? And now they have access. So here's what we did. So here's exactly how we how we set it up. 
And I'm actually rolling this out for myself in a couple of weeks. Mm. So it's $75 a month. Mm -hmm. Okay. They get four calls a month. So he has Zoom set up and he's he's paying Zoom, he's paying Zoom like 50 bucks Already. a month. Right? Yeah. And it's a hundred, it, you get a hundred, you could get a hundred people on one webinar. Mm -hmm. Right. And basically what he does, it's 75 bucks a month. He comes on once a week and he either does a, some sort of class. He'll do a book review. He'll do a question and answer series. He'll do a hot seat, right? He'll do all these different interactive things with a group setting. Mm -hmm. Right. And he only puts in about six hours a month. You see, and then I do my Facebook lives for free on the page. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So here's what you, I wouldn't stop that. Mm. Okay. That's a great way to continue that nourish, nur, uh, nurturement that, yeah. right. But I want you to have a private place. Yeah. And so it doesn't need to be 75 bucks. I think that's a lot for your yeah, market. So, well, so um, I don't know if you know Jay Shetty. Have you heard of him? I heard of the name, guy. yeah. He's an urban monk, English guy, uh, Indian. And so he had, first of all, at the beginning of the year, he did this like mastermind group. He got like, he's got like 20,000 people in the group. And then from that, he invited like 1,000 people to be part of his program. And it's like 40 bucks a month or something like that. So he's fucking killing it. Do the math. So, so yeah, it, yeah, it definitely adds up, and I definitely think that it's a good, um, a good thing. I guess I just need to kind of do it. <laughs> you, you just gotta do it, and 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 so I'm not sure if you're familiar with uh, some of the software platforms that are out there, but yeah, I've got Expert Secrets. What's, is that? Is that that one? Is that is that who you use or gonna use? So so he's a client of mine, and okay. he he's been a he's been a client of mine for three four years now, and. His ClickFunnels is a great platform. So my business is heavily embedded into ClickFunnels. Mm -hmm. And that's how I'm able to bring to market offers very, very quickly. And I have, a, I can, I have courses, I have downloadable resources, I have um, different, I have a monthly membership in my design side of things. I have, so ClickFunnels allowed me to do that and generate a, a pretty decent sized email list. And now I market to that email list, you know, three, four times a week. So ClickFunnels, I would consider using as a platform because it's very uh, comprehensive. Now, I don't think it's the best use of your time to go in there and start tinkering around building funnels, but there are, whether you use me or you use somebody else, it doesn't matter, but there's a gazillion people out there that could do this for you. And mm -hmm. building a simple opt-in page or a membership area or a place to just generate leads. And then the rest it could be done pretty easily. So I'll give you, let me finish up of, of what we did with this client. So it's, so we created an order form page. They, it's a subscription. So it's 75 bucks a month. They click it. It gets billed 75 bucks and then it's just until they cancel 75 bucks a month, right? On the thank you page or the confirmation page, there's the next steps. So the next step is to join this private Facebook group, mm -hmm. right? And then the next step is to um, look out for their, look out in your email because you will be uh, getting in the next 24 to 48 hours, a link to our first call. And you're going to want to save that link because that's the link that we're going to set up every week. And that's the, that's the link that we're going to have our calls on every week. Right. And then they sit back and relax. Now what happens is now they get put on an email list and every week they get information and content. And, and again, we're continuing that nurture, right? And you're just building your authority. You're building your credibility. You're building your relationship with them. But now it's, now it's monetized and what's what's happening now is the information that he delivers in those calls they're taken much more seriously mm. people are showing up every week religiously and this is building a tribe of paying customers he's got about 250 people 
in the program right now. So 75 times 250, it's $18,750 per month in recurring revenue. And he shows up six hours a week. Yeah, yeah. So what I would, what I would invite you to think about is what you're already doing this. Yeah, yeah. You just wanna kick it up a notch Maybe you offer some things that you wouldn't offer to the freebies, right? Mm -hmm. And develop some sort of curriculum or some sort of, because you have it in you. You've yeah. created this beautiful brand. Like you have, you know, you have the, uh, oh God, you have all the rituals. You have all the lingo. You have all this stuff. Like you just need to generate some revenue with it. And yeah. I know that you're, I know that you're doing this from your heart because mm. you're not charging for it. <laughs> like I know, I know you come from a great place, but you're in business to make money. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It needs to come up a notch. Yeah. And, and, and so, you know, I, so I'm looking at your website and the shop area, like you said, I agree. I think you should go straight merch with that. I mean, from a, because a clothing brand, that's yeah. like a whole nother beast. Yeah. But uh, I love, but I love it. It's so in line mm -hmm. with what you stand for. Mm -hmm. So it's beautiful. Now, are you generating any sales from it? Not a huge amount. I mean, I don't even check it that much anymore. Um, not a huge amount because I'm not promoting it. Like before, before Facebook changed algorithms, we could post a meme and I'd get like a few sales a day from just posting a meme. And now, you know, to get, to get like $8, uh, $8 profit, I have to, to spend like 25 ad, $25 on ads on Facebook. And it's just like, fuck you, you know, like, fuck you, Facebook. Yeah. So like, I just, They've gotten I just, very greedy. Yeah, I just don't care about it anymore. Like, so it, I, I'm, and also it's just like, okay, let, I want to focus money and stuff like that on things that are a little bit more lucrative. So, I mean, yeah, yeah. So it's, I, it's not a huge amount. Yeah, I'm just thinking like, because you're one person mm -hmm. and I don't, what kind of team do you have? It's, it, you look bigger than you are. It's, it, yeah, I guess so. I mean, I have um, I have a, a virtual assistant who works like four hours a day in the Philippines. Is that Karen? That's Karen. Okay. And I have um, a guy called Kevin that helps me schedule some social media and he does some of the graphics. He's doing less of them now, but he's based in Canada. And then I have a, a video editor, which is kind of like freelance. Um, he's based in the Philippines as well. So that's the team. <laughs> well, listen, I love it because like when you guys first reached out to me, like I thought this was this big operation. So you duped me, but yeah. it's good. Like I, I, I pride you on that because that's great. I mean, and it's funny. I look, sometimes people think I'm a one man band, but there's 16 people behind me. That's Jesus. why I'm, that's why I'm able to do this at this level. Wow. Yeah. So, you know, and they're just, they're just doing, they're all in individual verticals and they all do one specific task. That's mm. it. Right. Mm. And so that's why I'm able to do a podcast every day. That's mm. why I'm able to get on these calls when I, whenever I want. Right. Mm. But my, where, where I love to be is here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because I love people yeah right mm -hmm. and so that's where I need to stay because so I'm just it's a long story this call isn't about me it's about you but I need to scale you like yeah. you need to you need to have a scalable model because if you're doing everything or putting all your eggs in one basket yeah you know I'm not saying you need seven revenue streams like everybody says it'd be great right but Let's start with one, get your feet wet, get some money in the bank, and then start to reinvest and build out those other platforms. The beginning of the year was was not great, and I think that's where I was at with that. But um, but yeah, like I say, now I'm feeling like I've got control over stuff again and um, and can do it. Uh, I guess it's just, and and it's the structure thing. Like I'm 
I'm like super, super anal and need to have like everything organized and set up. And then like, and right now it's like, there, there's not many structures. Like just even the social media, when I think about social media, I just get like completely stressed out. So I'm like, does everyone know what they're doing? This needs to go here, here, here. And I'm not even fucking doing it. Other people are doing it. And I'm stressed out if like a post doesn't go out. So then like, and, and, and then the other thing is, the other thing is it's just, there's so many fucking platforms that I'm trying to like keep track of. There's my social, there's uplifting content social, there's LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook pages, um, groups, Facebook groups. And it's like, I can't, like, I just, so I, 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 I definitely want to like do this whole group thing. And so it's like, we've got a group now. And then it's like, do I have it? And I have another private group. Like I'm not really doing anything. The group that we have, I'm not really doing anything in it. Cause it's like, I want to do stuff on the page and then there's the group. It's just fucking stressful. So it, it is just about like getting focused and figuring, figuring it out. And like, yeah, I, I want to, I want to start doing that. So, so, so let me ask you this, like, what do we need to do? I'm talking to you. What do we need to do? Well, I'll tell you what we need to do. We just need to, <laughs> we just need to focus yeah on one specific thing at a time because it's very easy to get overwhelmed like i just saw you get overwhelmed and and it's and it's okay listen if i take a step out of my position right now and look down 30 from a thirty thousand foot angle i would freak myself the fuck out too because there's so many moving parts to this business i just happen to find the 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 organization so you're you're completely anal that's awesome so am i in a way right and what i do is i process everything out so i look at what i want to accomplish and i say what are the steps that i need to take in order to make that happen and i literally write it out and so I sit and I write it out. Step one, I got to do this three and all the way down to 15. So let me show you. I'll show you a crazy. Uh, I'm going to show you something that you're going to be like, holy shit. So here's a template. So these are, this is for my, oh shit. It's just, it just created something. Up. It's all right. We'll delete it. Can you see the screen? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. So I'm sure you heard of Basecamp, right? Yeah. Yeah. So this is my twenty-eight thousand pro dollar program. It's in three phases. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what I did was took me a minute, <laughs> but I phased out phase one. So this is all the steps. So every time I complete a step with the client, I check it off. Mm -hmm. Right. And then next thing you know. There's phase one is done, mm -hmm. right? Then I go to phase two, which is the design and, 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 and sort of the design direction and the identity build. So we design the logo, we create the brand guide, we create the site map, the wireframe, we get, we gather all the digital assets. We do all the copywriting first and foremost, right? This is all systematic. This is all done strategically and intentionally. And then we build out the framework for the, for the super funnel. Um, we start the visual design. So we start to craft the person's or the, the, the client's social media identity. So this is all the things that go line by line, step by step. And then phase three is the development. We make everything work and it all comes to life. And then we do an exit interview and we're, we're launched and we're done. So looking at this, right, it should give you a breath of fresh air that it's literally that simple. You just got to say to this week, I am completing this blinders go on and you tell everybody to fuck off until that's done. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's how that gets built out. But when I tell you it, it, when you have this systematic approach and a process, everything gets more calm. Everything's chill. And we just need to take all of that get out the crazy glue <laughs> and put it all and put it all put the right pieces of the puzzle in so now you have this beautiful this beautiful like 
mosaic, you know? And I just, I just, this wasn't, uh, listen, at the end of the day, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna do it. Like, I know it. You're gonna get through the depression moment. Listen, I had a shitty fucking January too. I had this guy come on, he was a shitty client. He, he came on and bashed me, he sent me bots. Like the, the met, you know, the review bots, mm. well, you could use them for positive and you could also use them for negative. He went, he, he, he blasted my podcast. He blasted my Facebook page. I had to actually turn it down. I had to take it down because it was so terrible. Right. Mm. And that put me in a tailspin for a good couple of weeks. And then I, good thing I have people around me and they were like, dude, this guy, if you Google the guy, he's an ex-convict. He stole $1.7 million off of these senior citizens, right? And then he comes back, this, this, this reborn guy, right? Like he's going to save the fucking world now. Dude, once a convict, always a convict. And he treats people like shit. And I realized after he treated my friend like shit, because my friend did some work for him and he completely stole from the guy. For whatever reason, I thought this guy was different with me. Like he put me in his book and everything. Like he wrote about me in his book, right? And then when I started to work with him, ooh, different person. But anyway, bashes the shit out of me. And let me tell you something, Ioni. If I didn't have my brand reputation, that that attack could have fucking buried me. Yeah, yeah. But what I did was I came. I did what Russell does. I did what, like when ClickFunnels went down a couple of times, right? Like people went after him, like, like venomous, right? And he gets out and he does a statement and he keeps everybody above, above water and he's, he apologizes and he does what he can do. So I went out on my platforms, I made my statement and I just shut up. I wasn't going to attack this guy back or do anything nasty. You know what happened, Ioni? My audience responded for me mm -hmm. and that that put me in tears that day because i said holy shit if i didn't so that's what told me that it wasn't true mm -hmm. and i was like you know what but it it fucked up sales for a few weeks i'm not gonna lie listen i'm transparent well every time i would get on a sales call i would feel like i'm not worthy right imposter syndrome kicks in yeah and i was like Nah, that's not me. That's that's not true. And I had a coach one day, my sales coach, he says to me, he said, Henry, how come you beefed up your process, you you leveled up everything on your website, like you, everything looks fucking awesome, but your sales are going down. Mm -hmm. And he said, could it be that that guy's still in your fucking head? Yeah. And I said, Tom, I've been trying to hide it and I can't and it's showing. And he said, I'm telling you right now, the guy's a piece of shit and all that shit is not true. Get out there and start helping people. You're not on sales calls. You're on call to help these people. Get it out of your fucking head that you're selling these people. And that was it, Ioni. That next week, we closed $20,000 in business. Mm -hmm. I was like a madman. So I took a completely different approach and said, I'm getting on these calls and I am just helping these people, whether it's me they hire or someone else. That's it. And that's what brought in that revenue. So, you know, I've been there. I just share that story with you because I know what the what depression can do maybe not at your level because i i haven't walked a day in your shoe but i it, it, it's debilitating to me when when i when that happens to me and i let it set i let it put me in the ground for two weeks three weeks then nothing gets done like you said yeah but listen our time is up i hope this was i hope you got some sort of clarity i hope this was helpful i didn't want to i didn't want to waste an hour of your time i know you know a lot of this stuff but like it's time to get out of your own way and just get the people around you that will help you execute this shit yeah yeah i mean it's been incredibly valuable i just think i needed to 
I needed that reminder again, like it's been something that's been there of, of knowing that it's needed to be done for about a year or so now. So um, it's just kind of, yeah, I, I mean, like I just needed to be ready to do it and um, like just step into it. And it's the same thing with the speaking. It's the same thing with the speaking and the book. Like sometimes it just takes me a while to walk through the door and then I'm like, all right, we're doing it. But until that time, there's just so much resistance and that's where I've been at and now it's like, just so yeah it's been you've been incredibly helpful i really really appreciate it awesome. really do